tēnā koutou kato malo lele whakalofa atu bulavanaka tolofa kiorana welcome to day two of the pacifica youth cup 2023 down here at bay roskill home of the bay roskill vikings called courtney tidy ho and joining me in commentary is tj ashford well tj what a start to day two we've already seen a great game uh between tonga and also uh tokalau but uh, coming up now in this championship game, we've got Nui, who are the defending champions from last year of this championship pool, up against Fiji, who had a great win yesterday. Yes, yeah, some talented players in both of these um, squads lining up. And as you can see, the wind and weather isn't the best of conditions today. And uh, traditionally, Fiji uh, type of side that likes to throw the ball around. So in these conditions, might be a bit tough for them. Uh, but yeah, we, we saw in the earlier game, the team that held on to the ball the most is probably most likely going to be the team that comes away with the win. Yes, and speaking of Fiji, we got a taste of their side yesterday. Plenty of good players. A lot, as you spoke about, got that Pacifica flair coming from uh, playing sevens for uh, their nation back home. So it's great to have Fiji part of the tournament. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, I was lucky enough to spend some time over in Fiji um, last year, November, around the development space and did a few coaching clinics with some of the kids, the local schools over there, and also some coaching clinics with um, some of the coaches around the, um, the, the Nandi area as well. So it was good to be a part of that. And as you can see, the Fano they have it turned out to support these sides. So uh, a big ups to them for supporting as we have a look at the new air side. Uh, yesterday, Diesel Falau was very, very good for his side in the fullback position. Also great to have uh, Nui part of this. Yeah, again, sm small islands, sometimes they're normally the forgotten one out of the, the, the bigger ones, but they got still got some great players coming out of there, and it's good to see them a part of this competition. There's a few tough players, like you said, Diesel, Diesel Falau, been a part of the system before, outstanding um, outside back, and also one of their captains as well, Noah Hitutu Davis, coming through the ranks. St. Paul's uh, product as well, great, great young kid. I uh, spent some time coaching him through pre-season last year, so looking for him to take some uh, uh, some leadership out there for the boys and guide them around the park. And as we see our referees entering the field, we give a big thank you to our referees. We have a great calibre of refs. And please remember, it's only pre-season for, no, pre for the refs, pre-season for players. And uh, we take our hats off to them for uh, coming out in these conditions as we now see the teams enter the field. Fiji got up yesterday. They won their first match against Tukalau. 30 to 14, uh, and Nui, they went down to Tonga Development. It was a very close match actually yesterday, uh, and they lost 14 to 10. As we see the teams, they will be taking the field, they will be doing their cultural challenges uh, once they get to the field. Uh, both teams will have to line up uh, on their 40 meter lines and they can't go past that, but it's great to have uh, a connection as to who we are as Pacifica people and getting, I guess, that cultural pride on display. Yeah, that's probably one of the most exciting things of, of watching test matches between the two countries is uh, seeing them perform their, uh, their, their, their cultural dance. And, um, you know, they, these guys are very proud to represent their nations. And, uh, yeah, this is probably some of the most exciting stuff I get to watch out there today as well as, as, as what they perform in the Arcas. Yeah, it's great to see the pride and the passion as we go to the cultural challenges, the Whaka Whanauna Tanga, that uh, our connection as, as people of the Pacific are bringing us all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and the cultural challenges have been laid. The wero, uh, nui with their haka takalo in Fiji with their hymn. As we get ready for the kickoff here, Nui, they won the toss and they will be kicking off running right to left. But I mean, such a great display of the pride of all these teams, their players representing their Fano, their culture, and also their nation. Yeah, man, I was actually privileged enough to um, you know, witness firsthand uh, the Fijian hymns over in Fiji. And um, man, the passion of what they do, they, they do it after everything. Uh, lots of carver sessions and um, you can just tell they're very passionate, uh, support uh, the Lord, and, and, and it, it's, it's, it was such a great thing to be a part of. So it was good to see it out there, Game of Goosebumps, just listening and, and watching that there. And we are underway for the second match of today in the championship pool. It is Fiji taking on Nui here at Bay Roskill. Weather conditions, very wet, Fano, very windy, but don't let that stop these players who yesterday on day one played with so much passion and pride and put out a great uh, caliber of football as well. As we see Fiji working it up from the kickoff on about their 20 meter line to win the tackle to take it down and we hear the first whistle blown by the refs. Yeah, early penalty early on there for Fiji, which is going to put them in some good field position if they can capitalise on that. Um, got some big bodies out there in the middle of the field too, so hopefully they've got some good engines on them, which I know most Fijian players do. Um, take this, uh, lead this team around the park nicely. Yeah, they've done well there, Fiji. Looks like they're on about the 40. 40. I believe, yep. We're looking at the blue lines, Fano, for those of you at home. Uh, lucky enough to be bringing you all these games live on Sky Sports, so thank you for tuning in. On this wet day, if you've managed to stay at home, we've got plenty more footy action for you for the day. As Fiji run it up and they're only 10 metres out as they have to take it back. Now a great work there by Fiji. And Nui trying to take them over the sideline as they attack on the line and you just see the ball come a little bit loose but it is scooped up by Fiji. Ball security going to be ever important in these matches under these conditions. Yeah, most definitely, especially down in on good ball as well. You tend to like to shift the ball around a little bit. You can see Fiji, although they had an early drop ball there, um, they've been decent into contact and their passing skills at the moment. So look for them to play some expansive footy today. What I've really enjoyed about uh, the tournament so far is exactly that, the courage of these players, the Pacifica flair, oh, it looks like it was a forward pass. Ruled by the ref, but it looks great from where we are, TJ. Yeah, great option there, number nine jumping out from acting half and saw some open space at good timing, just unfortunately couldn't execute uh, that final play. Good call by the on-field official, Joey Green, uh, supported by his touch judges as well. So Nui with their first. Uh, handling of the ball, trying to work it out from their goal line. Their first chance on attack. And as you said, some big bodies out there. Great to see just running it straight up the middle, taking on the Fiji defence. Yeah, Joey Upokal there, product of the Marist Saints Club here in Auckland. I've been in some representative footy lately as well. Played in the under-16s Auckland side. They played against the New Zealand 16s um, late part of last year. And he was great for this side yesterday, so uh, exciting to see what he can put out for day two uh, for his nation as we see him with his second hit up of the set and taking at least two defenders to take him down each time. Fifth and last, so they go for the kick. Great chase there by Nui, but Fiji just straight into the bread basket. And there's a bit of an arm wrestle now as we're just into four minutes of this match. Yeah, watching the, the first game earlier on as well, the, the team running from left to right has the wind advantage as well. So uh, Tonga Development picked up on that after their first half and kicked early in their second. And they saw it paid dividends as well, turning the big forward pack around. So let's see if Fiji take the same tact in the second game. Great defence there by Nui. 
Just driving Fiji back as we see a scoop from dummy half. And that's been quite a feature of the competition so far. Refs allowing the quick play the ball. And markers, if they're not quite set, the dummies, they're looking to just scoot out a dummy half. Yeah, that's one thing, I suppose, it's in particular in age grade as well. The wrestle technique isn't quite there at the moment. So it does allow some quicker play the balls. And uh, being in these conditions as well, a little bit uh, looser around the contact as well. So we see a nice take there from Falau. Wearing his traditional headgear that he's been in the last couple of years, I've been watching him. Great play, he's only just come back from a serious uh, uh, jaw injury as well. After receiving that in the National Youth Tournament, end of last year. And Fiji, uh, they are celebrating 20 years of New Zealand Fiji Rugby League. As we see a loose ball there. And two in the tackle looks like a strip, so Nui will get the penalty. But as I was saying, Fiji celebrate 20 years of New Zealand Fiji Rugby League. They are wearing their new commemorative jerseys uh, today, so a very special moment for them. And amazing, 20 years. Yeah, it's an outstanding achievement from Fiji, uh, New Zealand. Um, Sitavini Hatch, their coach, has been working alongside them the last few years as well. And I was actually privileged enough to... Um, be over in Fiji when they had their 30 year anniversary over there for them as well so that was, that was outstanding and um, good achievements for, for such a small country as well. And as we spoke about markers just earlier there were no markers there so a good scoop from dummy half getting to a great field position as they attack Fiji from 20 meters out. And you can see the rain coming down there Fano. Still great quality of football, though, that these uh, players are putting out as we see a great drive there, pumping the legs, goes close, and it looks like it could be a first try. Yeah, that's their, that's their captain and lock forward, Noah Hitatu Davis there. A strong carry from Noah. Looks to have pick, picked up something in the eye there. Don't worry, plenty of rain will wash that out yeah, straight nah. away. Good good start from New Way as well. It's their first attacking set and good ball opportunity. So you see um, some weak defence up there on first contact. Now Noah just to move away from the defender there. He's buried in low, close to the try line as well. I do have to say though, it's a bit confusing with the blue and white lines, especially for players traditionally defending on a white line. You look for that when you when you defend. So um, no, the boys have to adjust to it. They're not going to be changing colours over the next couple of days anyway. But great try there for Newey. Uh, got their first four pointer on the board. Yeah, and great work there by their uh, captain. And he shrugged off, or he beat about five defenders. Uh, when he was going low to the line, there was still about four around him, and he already shrugged one off earlier. So it's great to see just the work. And I think we saw it yesterday and probably in today's match too. Players, they're not afraid to attack that try line. They see it, and they back themselves, which I like about this younger age group. You'll probably see a little bit more of that in today's conditions as well. A few bodies close to the line, burrowing in low. Uh, but again, good good start from New Way. We see a conversion from Diesel Falau to make it 6-0 on the scoreboard. And we'll have another look at this effort here from New Way as they attack close to the line. Four there, and he just backs himself and goes all the way for a try. He's a tough, tough new um, young kid as well as Noah. I spent a bit of time with him uh, at club level last year. Come down to pre-season with the senior men's team that I was coaching, and um, you know he got a lot of respect from those 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 men out there as well with the way he trained. So uh, look for him to have a big career as as his years move forward. And that's important for younger players, isn't it? To get to play around older players, see how they do things, to see the development pathways, but to just learn off them and take it in as a sponge. Yeah, especially the, a lot of those boys have got experience as well, so a lot of them have been around the traps as we see another good run from Noah. Um, but it's good to rub shoulders with them as well and, and, and brings you back to a little bit of culture within the club as well. Um, so it's good to have him down there. And, uh, he is an outstanding performer at preseason as well, so it's good to see him. As we see a strong run there from number 11, Moorcraft Corsa, and he's gained uh, great yards for his side, just rucking it up the field. And then unfortunately, ball security going to be ever important uh, with this weather. You can see uh, the rain coming down 
and they did. They went forward up the middle, and it's almost like they did earn the right to start shifting it uh, out to the right. But as you can see, Fano with that rain, you've got to cherish when you have a uh, position of the ball. Yeah, that's that's important as well, and you've got to understand your position. I understand that a lot of these boys for Fiji have come from a rugby background as well, so their defensive technique around the ruck and rugby is a little bit a slightly different to rugby league, where they release quite early. Um, so it's a good opportunity for Nui to exploit that a little bit, um, as as the, the you know probably the defensive structures aren't aren't that good at the moment for the boys until they get used to it. So we'll see a nice little break here for Fiji. Yeah, great run down the their right edge for Fiji, and then uh, their player number four Sloan just able to get an offload out to his winger, but they bring it back infield. Compressed defence here from Nui. Let's see if uh, Fiji can attack that left side like they did earlier on in the contest. It's only two defenders there covering close to 25, 30 metres of space. They've adjusted now. It's like they heard you, TJ. <laughs> great footwork. Oh, great work there by the centre, Sloan. We saw him feature earlier in this set. He was able just to use his footwork to to evade defenders, even a bit of a fend, but unfortunately, as we said, ball security and losing the ball. Yeah, it looked like he tried to get away a flick pass there in the end, that, that's probably what happened, but yeah, he's he's already had two nice touches there, and he looks like a smart mover with the ball, tough carry, got some good bumpers into contact there, uh, probably just needed to find his fronts there though, and, and, and play off the back of some, some good momentum. Well, they've been in this position before as we see a line break there from Upoko. We spoke about him earlier. He's been great for his side so far in this competition. And it's it's runs like that that lift your team, doesn't it? That energy. And you can just see everyone putting their hands up saying, I want the ball. Let me have a go. Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on your defensive side as well. You're always on the back foot and you saw there. You're trying to win back advantage there and slow down the ruck. And they've just given away another penalty there, trying to hold down too long. So... Um, if I was Nui, I'd be looking at speeding it up here. Just keep the foot on the throat. See a nice little break there by Joey. Smart play there, just taking the contact and, and, and getting to play the ball there as well. Earned himself a, a, his team a penalty. And Nui electing to take the tap as they drive it forward on attack. They've got a repeat set here after the penalty and they're going to send it out to their right edge, but just look like they're just squaring it back up. As you said, TJ being smart, going to ground when they need to. Oh, and another great run there by Nui as they go close. Fiji, I'm not sure if they got a hand on the ball there. But Nui still, they're leading this match 6-0 over Fiji. Just under 18 minutes left, but we're just seeing some great runs, some great hit-ups from Nui. Yeah, it was a nice little corners play is what they call that, there, that play there as well. And um, That number 16 has just come onto the field there, uh, Samupo. He's already made an impact with two strong runs as well, so look for him to take some more tough carries. And it looks like six again as Nui take it from uh, 10 metres out. They go for a kick early, and they've got possession once again. And communication ever important in these matches, especially with these young sides. And telling each other, be smart, go to ground on. You see a loose ball there. Yeah, Nui had some shape down that short side as well. So I'm, I'm not sure what the acting half was doing in that situation. But, um, you know, we, we saw as well uh, in the earlier game, the team that had back-to-back -back field position, especially attacking the try line, came away with a few points, especially in that second half. Um, so look look, look for Nui to probably settle it down a little bit more keep building the pressure um, but I'm also liking the look of the attacking flair of Fiji as well I still think they've got something um, they're just lacking a few details especially on defense at the moment well and we'll get a look at it here as Fiji uh, have the ball they've got possession working it out from a scrum and you're right they really like this right edge and they've kicked it early, Fiji along the ground. Oh, and great chase there from Fiji. A loose ball scooped up by Fiji. Oh, no. 
And a look for a flick pass out the back. It was probably a try gone begging. But as we said, it's very slippery conditions. But you you spoke about it, TJ, that you know they they are dangerous on attack. It's just being able uh, to complete it, isn't it? Yeah, uh, man, I've seen this first first hand with Fiji as well, man. They just love chancing their arm, and I'm not sure if it, he's going to play advantage here, whether or not there was a knock on. They get a repeat set, but. This right edge for Fiji, they definitely look like they've got some talent out there. Look for them to continue going down that side as the game wears on. Oh, and it's... Not sure what's happened there. Yeah, loose carry into contact, I believe. So knock on, coming out of yardage. So a, a repeat set here for Fiji. Oh, and look, we get another look at the replay. They're just carrying it up. Yeah, one on one. It's able to get the ball loose and earn the right for Fiji to have possession and yeah, attack look, this line. Look for number four Sloan to get his hands on the ball in this set here as well. Fiji with the ball 20 metres out as they just drive the ball and hit it up. They're looking to the left edge in a way they did well there after an offload to just wrap the ball up and they look all bunched together here Fiji yeah Nui, Nui looked tight defensively too as we see a nice strong run here they should have some space here on the right edge as Fiji I've gone back open side oh and you can hear the fans Fiji they're close Fifth and last, probably a metre or two out as they attack, attack uh, Nui line. And it's, oh wow, it's a chip over the top. Might have been a little bit too much. Can't quite see with a bit of a river there on the... Yeah, half of that try line's <laughs> underwater, unfortunately. But a great defensive set from Nui. They scrambled quite well. Oh, he's knocked it on. Good call by the officials. Uh, always point out, to, um, always quick to point out flaws, but never quick to point out all the good stuff they do. So, well done to the officials on a good call there. Yeah, and the kick it probably just had a little bit too much, but I like that they changed it up and they went for the kick, uh, and it was a great chase by Fiji. But unfortunately, it was just uh, weighted a bit too heavy over the angle. Yeah, they got a bit of space there, Fiji as well. Like um, the New Zealand defensive team's quite tight defensively; they're very compressed. Uh, as we see a nice strong contact there from the winger of Fiji. Booker, okay, good work there in at marker and just straight on to defence. As we see Nui just kicking it out of their own half. Fiji allowing it to roll and uh, go over the sideline. And still a tight, close contest. 6 0 to Nui. Just under 13 minutes left in this first half. They are 30 minute uh, halves, 30 minutes each way. And it is four days of competition in this Pacifica Youth Cup. Day one was yesterday, it's day two today. And Sunday we will see finals as Fiji look to attack. And good work by the New Age defense, just driving Fiji back. Yeah, that's the number four Sloan as well. Got some tough carries, but it looks like he's lost it there. Uh, loose carry in possession, but he's definitely got some skill. Has the number four Sloan. Very strong carrier of the footy. Yeah, and I like that he puts his hand up, likes to get his hands on the ball, but in these conditions, probably as a coach would say, smarter. you've got to be smart. Yeah. Two hands on the ball, ball security. Yeah, exactly right. But again, I suppose, especially for the Fijian side, we, we all know that they like to play with flair. It's hard to sometimes curb uh, some stuff that they do that does well, that works well for them. So I know it's high risk, uh, high reward in some cases, but um, you know, you, you've got to find a medium uh, between the two where maybe coming out of yardage to secure it a little bit more and then have it play with a bit more flair as you get over the 40 or the 50 metre line. Um, but they've now been put under pressure here, defending their own try line again. That's it as we see Nui drive it up and they've had some great hit up, some great work by their forwards in second row in this first half of this match, willing to do the work for their team.
And Noe just looking to come left. But good defense by Fiji. As they're really being tested here. Slippery conditions, fifth and last. Oh, in the dummy half, he saw it. But unfortunately, he was unable to get his hands, secure his hands on the ball. He yeah. went to scoot from dummy half. It looks like the, the marker went one way, so it looks like the decision was right to peel out, out to the short side there, but again, just couldn't execute the final play. Fiji looking tired here, a few bodies walking around behind the ball. And that's it. It's going to be team management. It's going to be all important across these uh, next couple of days as bodies get tired. We see another loose ball, another unforced error. As bodies and teams start to get tired, coaches, team management going to have to look after their players to make sure that they can get through these next four days as the errors start to creep into this match. Yeah, big play by Upoko there coming out of the line. Probably not the best contact there, but he managed to whack the ball and, and make it come loose, which uh, gives this team another attacking opportunity. Uh, big defensive set as well. I mentioned earlier, Fiji looked a little bit tired bringing the ball out of yardage on that previous set. And with another defensive set here, it just only applies a bit more pressure in that aspect. So let's see if they can defend up. That's it. It's a test of your team and character, isn't it? When you have to defend, especially close to your line, uh, back to back to back. So uh, let's see what Fiji can do on defense. And they're able to turn the ball over and they'll be happy with that one. And they'll just be wanting to secure the ball, maintain possession, work the ball out of their own end, complete their sets. As we see a great run there by, it looks like, their number 16, Adia. Good work by the Nui defence. I like their line speed. They're all coming up together then. As Fiji elect to go to the kick. And it's a big kick downfield, and it will 40, find 20. touch. 40-20. Let's see what the officials called it. Yeah, Joey Green's in position. Well done. Outstanding. It was a poor pass from acting half there, but a great kick. And this is something that we saw in the earlier game with the Tonga development side in the second half, kicking earlier in the tackle count. Um, there was a 40-20 there and another one here on display as well. So it looks like that strong breeze has paid dividends, and that's a big momentum shift in it. Uh, with that one play there as well. So hopefully Fiji can get themselves on the board here with this attacking set. Yeah, probably a huge sigh of relief for Fiji. Getting an, a repeat set down this end on attack. Getting to play down this end of the field with just over eight minutes left in the first half. They're only down 6-0 on the scoreboard. So they'll be wanting to continue this momentum. And you can see it there close to the line. Great work by Karma. And he is able to secure... Uh, a try for his Fiji side. You can hear the fans that have had have, have braved the weather come out in support. You can hear them cheering, and this is a great lift as we edge closer to half time. Yeah, it is. It was a nice little play there as we see the kick. I didn't know the number on that one, but we'll get that to you shortly. Uh, lack of energy or, or urgency there at the back there from that outside back, and um, Fiji hot on attack there. They just showed a lot of energy around the ball, and uh, Karma with a tough carry here. Just arm grabbing there and found some space and dots down for Fiji's first four pointer of today. Yeah, great work there by Fiji. That momentum, as we said, that momentum shift off the 40 20. And uh, that's something that you want, especially heading close to half time with the kick to come. And the wind is strong, Fano, from left to right. And it just goes straight over to level everything up. Six saw here between Fiji Nui in this first half of the Pacifica Youth Cup, the championship pool, and we get another look at the try, TJ. Yeah, nice play. They're just a little bit um, thin there defensively, and Marcus probably didn't apply pressure from the inside there, uh, which allowed, oh, it was a number nine there that got that kick away. Uh, Tavita Kama, outstanding vision, great execution as well. Look for him to uh, make that play again as that game goes on with six minutes to play in this first half. That's it, and you can see the rain. It is coming down 
heavily. And we take our hats off to these players, but also their Fano and friends who are brave the weather to come out and support them. And a great take there off the kickoff by Fiji. In a way, trying to drag them close to the sideline, but unable to. Something that team will have to think about as well under these slippery conditions as we hear the ref. Yeah, sounded like a penalty there. Yep, I think he's got it for high contact. So a big uh, attacking set and defensive set for both sides here as we come down to the final five minutes of this first half. And you can just see there that one little play of that 40-20 just shifted momentum a little bit. The previous set to that, Fiji were on their haunches there a little bit tired and that one little play there has just given them a, a, an instant energy boost. So a uh, big opportunity for Fiji here to extend the, um, their points. Oh, and a great hit up there from Fiji. You can feel the momentum and it, oh, unfortunately lost the ball. But it was great energy and a great, a great hit up. But I mean, we keep saying it, but if you can see the rain, he's bumped one off. And then there's three in the tackle. Possibly looked like an offload even. Yeah. Tried an offload. I feel my Monga there with a tough carry. But again, in these conditions, sometimes we try and fight for uh, a little bit of momentum where he just probably needed to find his front there. It was a good carry. Find your front, get a quick play of the ball, and that allow the likes to Malakai Kama to play off the back of that. Um, as we see the rain bucket down even more now. Strong run by the number 11, Moorcroft Corset. And Poco again, not afraid to put his hand up and just hit the ball up for his team, do the hard work. Oh, and unfortunate. Oh, a drop ball there from Nui, and it's, it's going to be a feature of this match under these conditions with just over four minutes left to play. Yeah, just guilty of uh, taking his eye off the ball there. Again, just missing the full detail. Catch first, then play from the back of that. But uh, good defensive pressure there by Fiji. Uh, they've actually looked sharp. I, I know the, the scores are 6-all six, six at the moment, but they've definitely got some potential there attacking with the ball. So we see another back-to-back -back error for Fiji, but if they can string together some uh, a higher completion rate, uh, they'll definitely be putting a few more points on in the, in the back end of this game. And no doubt that's a message that the coaches will be saying at half time, all about completing sets, the ability to apply pressure. We saw when Fiji were able to do that, that they were able to get on the scoreboard. And uh, on the flip side of that, we saw when they were under pressure and back-to-back -back defense, the, the toll that it can take on these players. Yeah, and I, I suppose with the conditions as well, Fiji, um, the win playing in their part in this first half, probably a, a six to 10 point advantage that they should have used on that as well. Uh, with a few more earlier kicks, but just failed to complete a few more times with the ball. But new weight, final three minutes of this first half. They had a good position here to try and extend the points on the board. Look for their uh, captain and middle forward, Noah Hitutu Davis, to get his hands on the ball or on the set if he can. Another error. And that's it, TJ. Another error as we see a change in possession. Anyway, they were looking to set themselves up in that set, but Fiji are able to turn possession over as they just head towards the middle of the field. They're about 40 metres off their own try line, looking to work it out. Late and flop. A late flop, you heard it there from TJ. Another penalty. And it's what Fiji can do with this now, TJ. Yeah, I was actually going to say before that penalty took place, I was expecting a little bit of flair to come out in the final two minutes as well. Um, that's one thing that's great about this Fiji inside is, is they do have just, they're just naturally gifted, naturally talented players. Um, but again, they've got some space on the edges to see if they can identify that and get the ball in the hands of the right people as we see another era. That's Story of today so far. It is, and it's just... Yeah, took his eye off the ball, unfortunately. Like a Nivalu in at the dummy half position. Yeah, and those, it's probably about doing the basics right. I was just about to say that. Those, those, that was an unforced error as well. So that, that those are a little bit harder to cop. 
um, again, you just probably got to tidy up the one percenters of the game, especially in these conditions. So you catch, you pass, and in, in this this um, situation, obviously the pick up as well from dummy half. Right, Nui with the ball. A minute left to play in this first half of the championship pool. What can they do with it? We've seen both, probably the last two or three sets that these teams have had possession. They've turned it over. Uh, so it's, I guess it comes down to what they can do in these last 45 seconds. And as you can, as you said earlier, TJ, that Pacifica flare is probably the time that it can come out. Oh, but look for an offload there. But unfortunately lost the ball and Fiji 30 seconds left to play. Yeah, it's probably not the time to be giving Fiji the ball either as you see them throwing the ball around already. Another great carry there. Number 15, he's been tough since coming onto the field. As Afi Memonga, to see an early kick. Turned over, it's hard to see here in the box. Uh, Fiji with the final play of the half. As you hear the halftime who to go, players on their haunches. It's halftime and it's six saw between Nui and Fiji of the Pacifica Youth Cup in the championship pool. No my hooky my to the Pacifica Youth Cup here at Bay Ross School, home of the Vikings. It's halftime in our match of day two, match two, and it is Nui 6, VG 6, a very close arm wrestle. And it was Nui who opened up the scoreboard uh, with this great effort here from their number 13 and captain Noah Hatutu Davis. Yeah, it was a great try from Noah. And again, that's one of his strengths of his, uh, his rugby league career is as a carry. And he just proved too tough there. And he burrowed down low, close to the line and put the first points on the board for uh, Nui. Yeah, a great charging run there. Just decided to put his hand up and do it for his uh, side leading from the front. But it's been impressive and has been a real fixture of this Nui side is just their forwards willing uh, to take the ball up and have some very, very strong runs as it is half time here. The rain is coming down far no six saw between Nui and Fiji. No my hooky my to the Pacifica Youth Cup. It is half time uh, for our second match of the day between Nui and Fiji six saw. And it's been a real battle out there on the field, a battle of possession and ball security, ever important under these conditions. But nonetheless, we've seen some great football being played by these young players. They are under 18 and it's just a great next three days. We've already had day one yesterday, but it's a great competition to bring all our Pacifica people together, TJ. Yeah, great weekend to showcase all of our Pacific nations here playing rugby league in Aotearoa. So it's good to have them down here at Bay Ross School uh, Reserve. And again, six all at half time. Story of the first game as well, uh, with one team uh, extending their lead in the second half. So let's see if one of these teams can get in front. So yeah. we're down to our final 30, sec uh, 30 minutes of the game. And it's Fiji with the kickoff. They are running right to left on the screen and the jerseys that they are wearing celebrating 20 years of New Zealand Fiji Rugby League and it is their new commemorative jerseys and uh, 20 years an amazing accomplishment as we see Nui uh, just some more charging runs from their big boys and it, they've been great so far haven't they? Yeah they've had a couple as we see a good uh, run there ending up in a penalty for Nui so uh, there's been two players standing out in the middle uh, part of the field, and that's Joey Upoko and also New West captain Noah Hitutu Davis. They've been outstanding, and they've just changed momentum as well, just with those first couple of carries. So let's see if New West can capitalise on this opportunity and extend their points in the second half. In a real battle of possession, TJ, and the messages you think the coaches or if you're out there the messages you'd be giving to these teams yeah def definitely ball controls one and the main thing around it is just some of them have been unforced areas uh getting up to play the ball so um as you see new way hot on attack but definitely completion i think if they can build a bit of pressure so you see a poor play the ball there 
Um, so that, those are the things that I'm talking about. So the unforced errors. So that's something that they control, which is the play the ball speed. Uh, I'd probably sacrifice a little bit of time there getting up just to make sure that we can cleanly execute there. But uh, the team that can hold on to the ball, apply a bit of pressure with a few back-to-back -back sets, will more than likely come away with, uh, with the win in this game. Yeah, Fiji to feed the scrum. What I like about these teams, though, is their resilience. You've seen a lot of turnover in possession, and that can sometimes deflate a team, but we saw it in the back end of the first half. Fiji, they were defending uh, repeat sets on their line, but they were able to just swift, uh, swiftly change momentum. You can see it here. Oh, it looks like another drop ball. And you can see Nui, they're excited. They're saying, come on, let's go. Let's let's make something of this. Yeah, even still, you know, like the, uh, both even the Fiji side, obviously completion something that they need to look at, but... They saw an opportunity and they tried to take advantage of it and if it came off, they probably got up the other end and could potentially score. So it's a double-edged sword for the side there. And um, look, New Way, they've got a good um, bit of position now. Let's see if they can correct what they did wrong on um, the previous set and try and extend their lead. Yeah, you can see Fano and friends have braved the weather and we a big thank you to them for coming out to support. And if you're in the area, you want to brave the weather too as we see New Way. Oh, and it is their captain, Hatuta Davis. He just said, give it to me, and I'm going to head left and head towards that try line. Yeah, great eyes up play there by Hatutu Davis, and again, getting his double for today. Um, he, he's, I know he's wearing the number 13 on his back uh, here at the moment, but he's also played multiple positions, um, especially for club and school as well. So it's good eyes up play. Fiji failed to put a defender on the short side there. And uh, just proved too strong in the end there. Breaking free of that tackle. And it's a fair few new way and supporters down there in the corner cheering them on as well. That's it. Diving and sliding into an absolute river in the end goal. But just the game smarts and the, and the game awareness. He was at the back of the scrum. But like you said, he identified that Fiji didn't have any defenders and just said, hey, I'm going to do this. And, uh, and he backed himself. Yeah, that, that could be the downfall as well with um, a lot of the Fijian players coming from the rugby background, not having enough time um, yeah, just, just to work on the execution of around the rugby league side of it. Although very similar games, they're also so far apart in what we do defensive structure-wise. So, um, yeah, again, hopefully they can pick up on that and, and execute a little bit better defensively next time and, um, again, come down to another back-to-back -back era from Fiji and, and New Way capitalised. That they did, as we see, I believe it is. Oh no, it's not Diesel Falau. We've got a new kicker and a uh, very strong win behind him as well. But I was saying earlier, there's our food stalls here, Farno. So if you're in the area, feel free to come on down, brave the weather. Plenty of yummy kai, some great footy to watch. Great to see the Farno and friends out supporting as we see the kick four conversion from Nue and. It is successful. You can hear the cheers. Great work from Nui. Reese Manu, I believe, number seven. Outstanding. That's probably why Diesel wasn't kicking. So, brought his kicking boots today, did Reese. Yeah, great work. A kick all the way from the sideline to put his team up 12 6 over Fiji. Fiji with the kickoff. 25 minutes left to play in this match. It is the second half, 30 minute matches. And good energy from Fiji there off the kickoff, chasing strong. And they'll want to try to keep Nui down here. Not allow them to get too much momentum. But I mean, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Their captain willing to just put in the hard work for his team, Hitutu Davis. Yeah, another penalty there. That's a great captain's knock as well. And again, Fiji just failing to capitalise on a bit of field position down here. Just giving away an easy penalty here. Yeah, Tackler needed to release. Could have gone both ways as well. Uh, Noah, most players with, with the ball, they need to get up before they put the ball on the ground and play it. So could have gone easily both ways there. As we see, touch finder failed. And uh, Fiji now in great field position. Well, that's it, Fiji. They've come up with the ball. Nui failing to find touch. So they're on attack for the first time in this second half. Fiji. And they've got that flair. We've seen it early. 
Uh, and now, unfortunately, looks like an injury to one of the Fijian players. Yeah, hopefully nothing too serious there. I just want to mention as well, um, if Fiji can execute uh, with the ball in hand, uh, Nui's defensive line is very compressed there. They've got about 15 to 20 metres on either side of the field there, so the attempting fate is new weight. Um, but if Fiji can hold the ball in hand and, and get to the outsides, and especially we saw as well Sloan, number four, he's got some talent um, with, with ball in hand, so fingers crossed he can uh, get a bit more early touches and, and, and try and extend his team's uh, uh, position on the scoreboard. Yeah, and as we speak about Fiji giving away that penalty, but I like the passion and the energy that number 11 Liam Boyd showed, But and as you said, it could have gone either way, but especially uh, with the refs allowing the quick play the balls, you know, when you're on defence, just better to be smarter and try not to give away any penalties as we see Fiji uh, just coming together as one of their players is injured, as you said, TJ. Hopefully nothing serious, but under these conditions, uh, when it is wet, it is cold, uh, you know, body management is going to be very, very important. Yeah, especially most of these boys will be playing four or five games over the over the course of the week. So we see he's just landed awkwardly there uh, with a body underneath. Uh, potentially a sprain, hopefully nothing more serious than that. Definitely looks like he's in pain though. So, But yeah, after watching the first couple games as well, obviously conditions are playing a part and and the type of footy that we've got at the moment. But again, the team that's completing at a higher rate is, is winning the contest at the moment on the scoreboard. And this is the championship pool. It is our second match of the day coming up after this one. It will be our premiership pool and we have got Tonga up against Samoa. And that's going to be an exciting one. Both of them winning their first matches yesterday. And it's also, I guess, while we have the time to talk about the rise of, not in my eyes, but I guess these lower tiered nations, but uh, on the main stage and showing these players that there is a pathway for them with Mate Matonga and Toa Samoa, the success of Toa Samoa at the recent uh, Rugby League World Cup. Yeah, and, and I know, um, you know, the, the uh, Tongan team probably didn't go as far as what they would want it to in the World Cup, but... Uh, that's a success story, man. So the, the islands, they're, they're not, not big in, in size, but um, very big in heart, especially those two nations there. They're, they're coming leaps and bounds um, over the last few years as well. And, uh, definitely not in my eyes. I don't see them as Tier 2 nations um, anymore. And uh, Fiji also on a, on a uh, higher level as well. Their representative sides have been doing outstanding. They knocked off the Kiwis a few years ago as well. Um, you know, so they've got definitely talent coming through and having a pathway like um, the Pacific Youth Tournament here today um, is, is just a great uh, vessel for these boys to showcase their skills to hopefully move to higher honours moving forward. And also uh, great to see, I guess, superstars of our game electing to play for their nations instead of, I guess, the traditional Australia and the origin matches that they could be part of, but they're electing to go back and play for their nations, which I think has seen a, a huge growth uh, in these nations and in their uh, in rugby league. Well, that's, that just strengthens our game, you know, having uh, more players playing at a higher level is outstanding. And, you know, those experienced players can then go back to their home nations as we see at era there at the play the board. Again, another unforced one, but... Yeah, just having those experienced players go back to their home nations allows them to share their experiences and their knowledge, which can only help um, to grow the game in, in, in all those countries. Yeah, and even seeing past players who aren't playing anymore but being part of team management and helping in uh, the coaching of these sides. So it's great to have that knowledge still in our wonderful game of rugby league. It's just over 23 minutes left of this second half of uh, our championship pool, the second match of the day, Nui, Fiji. It is 12-6, Nui ahead on the scoreboard as we see. Uh, a great run there from the halfback in Reese Manu. But again, smart to just go to ground. Yeah, he had the pass there as well, but probably not the conventional pass to get the ball away safely. So right decision in the end there, and he's put his team in good field position here. Oh, in good hands there from Upoko just to pull it in. It's probably a bit low, but 
uh, did the work to pull the ball in and just to do the hard yards, take it up for his team. As we see Nui, they're going out to the left edge and unfortunately a drop ball and Fiji will gain possession. Yep, another unforced error there by the boys and um, it just seems like they're going away from what's working well for them. You know, Nui's been uh, quite good around the middle of the field, carting the ball up and I thought they had a few more carries there that they could have done and, and opened up that defensive line a little bit more and uh, missed another missed opportunity from Nui. But uh, Fiji got the ball back now. Let's see what they can do with it. Yeah, we spoke about Fiji earlier. They are so exciting on attack, especially with a lot of their players with a rugby background as they look to shift it early. And they're going to their left edge. Ever exciting on attack is Fiji. Nice inside ball. But the new A defense just trying to keep them down their own half. Oh, and a great run there from their great center. Play. Josepha Hennings. Great work from Fiji. As we said, they've got that attacking flair. A bit slow to get up to play the ball. But his team, they're calling for it. Oh, and a bump off there from their number eight and field. They're just missing that extra pass there on attack, especially down here. Like I mentioned earlier, New Way are very tight defensively. So if they can get that extra pass there, maybe they just need to get a little bit deeper as we see Gama with a nice run back on towards the middle of the ruck. And there's a fifth and last for Fiji, looking to make something of this set, even if it's to get a repeat set, but a possible try. New Way couldn't pull it in. And we're just waiting to see. It is a try to Fiji. You can see the excitement from their players with just over 20 left to play. And they've scored a try off the kick. New A, and it is, it would, the ball would be very slippery, unable to pull it in. But it all started from here, didn't it, TJ? Yeah, it was a nice little play there by the number three, Hennings, uh, getting a great offload there after the break. And it's just, it just showed the benefits of getting through a full um, attacking set as well. It's the first time they've done that in a while. We see the fullback there, Sinebulu, putting in the kick. And oh, missed opportunity there, but picked up there, played to the whistle was the number 12, rubber sight. And again, nice little dab over the top here by the fullback, Sinebulu. Delicate touch. Failed to pick that ball up there. Great oh, grounding and too. Great grounding, two hands on the ball. And also a great chase there by Fiji. They had about three or four players chasing that one and were able to capitalize um, from which started from a great uh, drive down the sidelines in Hennings as we see the conversion about to take place. From their fullback, Senebulu. Yeah, tough kick in these uh, conditions, obviously, and going up against the wind as well. They are uh, very windy out there at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, but look. Again, they've got through the attacking set there. They've, they've done well to get four points on the board. So we see a nice run here by Hennings as well. They've definitely got some opportunities out on the edges. Fiji, um, new way defending the conditions like they should, being in nice and tight around the ruck. And just a great chip over, possibly touched by both players there. But remember, Fano, uh, no video refs in this true. one, and it is pre-season. Uh, for our refs as well as our players as we see another strong run there from Phil, Elijah Field, the number eight for Fiji, just lifting the energy of his side. See the passion that he had from that hit up and a quick play the ball, no markers for Nui and Fiji making the most of that, a scoop from Dummy Harper. You can feel the energy and the momentum with Fiji now. Yeah, if they can um, complete position here uh, and put themselves in a good position to execute down the other end of the field. New way just looking a little bit tired now after that try being scored. A bit flat on that play there, but they're getting through their set quite nicely. So if they can get to their kick here, great run. Oh, a scoop from Dummy Ha from their number nine, Savita Kama. 
Oh, just unable to take him down the way. Elects Great to do skill. a little chip. Great skill, like you said, TJ. So exciting. Kick to the post, almost regathered by his team for a try, but Nui were able to just uh, secure the ball and come up with it. Yeah, Karma, outstanding run from acting half, and he's been uh, threatening that the last couple of times that he's had the ball, so hopefully he can get his hands on the ball a little bit more and keep running out of acting half, creating opportunities for this Fiji inside. And great work there from Fiji. Like we said, the energy and momentum is with them as they try to keep Nui down this end and they are doing it so far and you can hear the cheers on the sideline Fano, and they're forced Nui to kick from just over 10 metres out and their full back gaining the ball just over the halfway line, Senibulu looking to bring it back and Fiji you can just feel their team is almost revitalised with just over 16 minutes to play and it's almost like they understand the importance of repeat sets, ball security and playing down this end of the field. Yeah, well you can see what two completed sets has done to them already. Not only has it given them more energy, but it's uh, put a lot of pressure on the opposition um, in new way trying to defend their own trial line. So if they can build a little bit more pressure, get to the back end of the set as we see it. Potential drop ball there, not picked up, but that's okay. Play on, play to the whistle. There's some open space here. Oh, we see hands down ball. the sideline. Oh, and it was... We saw that flare from Fiji. The great cutout ball to uh, the centre in Joseva Hennings. But this, it all started from here. A great hit up from Elijah Fiul just to energise his team. And then it was this one from Karma. Nui unable to take him down and just great skill and individual brilliance. It's about six people he got away from there on that tough run. So... You see Elijah Few only just come on the field, but already made an instant impact. And they cut out ball here to the centre in Josefa Hennings, but unable to stay in the field of play. Yeah, outstanding cover defence there from the new way in, outside back. Uh, look for the OBs now to get involved here, get some tough carries. Middle forwards for new way have done a lot, of, a lot of work defensively lately, so they need some tough carries here. Well, that's it, and they... They just need a swing in momentum, Nui. They've been defending down their end of the field as it goes to Upuko. A strong run, and that's exactly what they need to ignite their team on attack. Yeah, great play. The ball by Joey Upuko there as well, catching the marker offside. Uh, that's exactly what they needed there to change the energy mindset uh, for this Nui inside. Fiji have done really well to work themselves back into the contest now. They need to re regroup. Uh, get one good defensive set here and try and turn the ball over with the defence. And it's been the great work of the the big bodies up the middle, I feel, just doing the hard yards for their teams, just uh, driving, strong drives up the middle. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that I noticed working in the development space, especially with these young boys coming through. They like to play block shape to block shape a lot of the time where... Um, you know, some of the traditional methods of going down Main Street around the middle of the ruck is what works for them. So you've seen here every time New Way looks to shift the ball wide, they've missed opportunities. But when they play through the middle, um, they've been able to capitalise with two tries. Oh, and they're going close to the try line. And it's the player that we were just talking about, Dewey Upoko. He gets the try and everybody's excited as the fans right in front of them braving this weather but a great work and as we were saying it's the charging runs from these forwards and we get a replay and a good look at it here TJ. Yeah you see Hitutu Davis as well organising off the ball there he knew that that was a set piece coming but we mentioned it earlier that's that's new way strength so um, they need to go back to what works well for them and, and take those opportunities when they're there hopefully they can uh, ride the wave for the last 13 minutes and run exactly what they've been doing but Put that whole set down to Joey Upoko. Outstanding run there um, to get his team the back-to-back -back set with that penalty. And then, obviously, he's too big, too strong, too powerful, close to the line. Yeah, some great work there from Joey, Joey Upoko as we wait for the conversion attempt. We saw it earlier from Reese Manu, who was able to get one from the sideline. It's on the same side of the field. The wind's very strong, blowing across the uprights. You can see the flags behind him there. And he was able to judge it beautifully earlier, but uh, the flags are blowing in this very strong breeze coming across the field. I'm backing him. <laughs> Me too, I'm, I'm especially confident. after his earlier I'm, yeah, attempt. I'm confident. 
we were saying yesterday they might live across the road you know he's used to these conditions oh it's too much there you can see it there Fano, the breeze absolutely carrying Comment, that commentators ball. curse that it one. is yeah but it's definitely tough conditions out there today the rain's slowly dying away at the moment you don't see it there on, on camera but it's off at the moment and again windy conditions nice power play here through the middle of the ruck hard to defend thought fiji did well there getting off their line but just lack of pressure defensively from the inside yeah oh so hard to defend and Dorio poco he got close to the line and he got down low and just backed himself as we go for the kickoff from fiji with just under 12 minutes left to play in this second half Nui up on the scoreboard by six points 16 to 10 over fiji there's only six points in it. It's been a great match and a great display of skill in that flair. We've seen it from Fiji, also from Nui. As Nui looked to work the ball out of their own half and there's a loose ball, yeah, loose carry, turnover of possession. It's those unforced areas that we spoke about and, you know, Fiji, they will know how important this next set will be. Yeah, and there's still a lot of time left in the game, two, ten minutes, and um, that misconversion there is going to keep Fiji in the hunt as well to bring the ball in close up. So we see the big boys on the bench taking a much-deserved rest here for Fiji. Uh, but Fiji in hot position now uh, to try and get themselves back into this contest and level the game up. It looks like they're about 35 metres out, Fiji, and they'll have possession of the ball. We spoke about that flair. Oh, as we see their number Karma. six, Malachi Karma. He's been great for this Fiji side. Just getting meters for his team. And they go back to the middle. Oh, and it's only... Oh, it's a penalty. It looked like a bit of a loose carry, but the Fiji, uh, the referee's in better position than me in Fiji they've earned the penalty yeah, good call. oh yeah good, good call, call there. the official I know there was hands on the boys probably lost it on contact of the ground but it does allow Fiji to be in hot position of the ball in the right end of the field as Fiji attack at the new a line very lucky there that they got tackled About five metres out here, Fiji. Strong defence from Nui getting off their line defensively. And Fiji, a great opportunity for them here. A bit bunched together. Fifth and last. Oh, great hands there as we see a chip over the top. Oh, and it's Unable to take it yeah, in, no way. too. Scored accidental there, but there's still nine minutes. Fiji just have to be patient, try not to chase the points. Yeah, just that, that win held it up tip late and made it awkward, but definitely hard for our outside backs today um, on any, any kick retrievals. But uh, they're in a great attacking position as Fiji, and this is the opportunity that they need with the attacking flair that they've got in this back line. Let's uh, see if we can get um, Sloan, the number four for Fiji in this attacking back line and get his hands on the ball. Yeah, and earlier we've seen how dangerous Fiji can be on attack, especially with repeat sets. And as they, they elect to go down the short side. And another penalty. Again, as we hear the referee blow the whistle. Just over eight minutes left here to play. Fiji play are slow to get up in Serubuke. Yeah, I'm not sure what the penalty was for there. It could have, could have been offside on the on the blind side there from the new way defence. We see a halt in play due to an injury. But again, like I said, we, Fiji can't rush for points here the back end of this game. I know they're behind by six, but they're in the right end of the field to be extending uh, extending their point score, scoring here. Um, they probably just need a few more hard runs around the middle of the ruck. Same sort of attack as New Way. That's it, and we saw them have success with that earlier. So it's just going uh, back to the basics. As you can see, the rain, it's streaming down. 
as we see uh, that Fiji player go to the sideline. So uh, hopefully he's okay as uh, Fiji get another set to attack. Nui on defense here in Fiji. They've got their flair, but they're just doing one outs at the moment. Hitting the ball up. Coming back across the field. Oh, and a, another drop ball there. A lost ball from Fiji. It almost looked like he wanted to do a cutout pass there. They were, looked like they were just a bit unsure of what uh, their set play was on attack. Yeah, just the execution there. And, and, and again, I, I just felt like they went from one sideline to the next. And um, no one really punching a straight ball there. And uh, poor execution from the Fijian attacking side on that, that set of six. Which, as we spoke about these Fiji side, you know, they do have a background in rugby and probably in particular sevens. And that's what they are used to going sideline to sideline, uh, trying to find where the holes are with the defence, with the compressed defence. But you're right, probably just needing to, to play a bit smarter there, Fiji, and uh, turning over possession to Noe with just under seven minutes left here to play. Only down six on the scoreline. Oh, we see another error in Fiji. They come up with it and they look to go for a try. Oh. And the referees, they're just going to have a chat and talk about it. On first look for me, I don't think he got there, but I'd love to be proved wrong. He's going to the spot. He is. Oh, he's called it a try. And Fiji able to capitalise on that error from Nui. They lost possession, that we see here off the back of the scrum. Yeah, definitely not the play that you need to be doing when you're up by six inside your own ten. Just probably needed to take the carry there. Put a lot of pressure on his outside back. And Hennings, he's been um, in the spotlight with a few things. Yeah, touch and go on the call there, but um, at the end of the day, the four points are on the board. And uh, Fiji have the kick to bring this game level. Five minutes to go. And the, this will be a, a tough kick from this sideline, kicking straight into the wind. We've seen it have an effect across all the games so far today. Four minutes to go. And their hooker, Fitakama. And you can see it there, Fano. Not successful, just how strong this wind is and the conditions that these uh, players are playing in. Another look at it here. A scrum to Nui as they uh, earned the penalty, earned the ball and a drop ball. And there's a bit of a jumble here. Then it pops out the back for Fiji and they just go to their left edge. Joseba Hennings looking to take on the winger and being awarded a try. Yeah, the four points are on the board, so it doesn't matter now. What matters is these final five minutes of play. And uh, it's going to come down to moments as well. So there's going to be moments here where Fiji want to throw the ball around and chase chase the points. And if they uh, go back to what's been working well for both sides, and that's some tough carries around the middle of the park, open up some space on the edges and uh, look to attack the centres. We'll see a strong run here off the kickoff by the number 12. Mosi Nevisai. Good ball and all tackle. Yeah, there's the error. Yeah, sloppy play the ball from Fiji after two strong hit ups just up the middle, which is exactly how you would want to return the kickoff. But unfortunately, Rigomoto just a bit sloppy there as bodies are getting tired and uh, a change in possession and, and an unforced error. We see it starting to creep into this match with just over four minutes left to play. Yeah, just a bit of education for those that are watching out there at the moment as well. That play the ball there, if he regathered it with his foot and rolled it back, uh, it would have been play on. So the fact that he stepped over the ball constitutes um, the error there at the play the ball. So for those watching, uh, just get your foot back onto the ball, roll it back, and then it's play on as per normal. We see Nui uh, on attack, about 40 metres out from the Fiji line. And they lead by two points on the scoreboard, three and a half minutes left to play. They want to be smart here. 
and we've seen the success that this has had just driving it hard up through the middle through their props through their forwards oh great work there great combination of Opuko and also their captain in Hitutu Davis see this the range streaming down left step just to come back in field from their halfback in Reese Manu who's also been strong for this side a bit slow to get up there still plenty of time young man there yeah, you see that trip play again from Newway Joey Upoko brought down there better inside pressure from the v Fijian defence I believe that might have been the last play there too so probably the wrong option there for Newway but Fiji hot on attack this is what this type of footy that they live for is Fiji. Yeah, you can see them signalling out to their edge. Oh, and it's just another drop ball. Ten metres out, not what they were looking for. But you can see them signalling. We're coming out to this left edge. We're going to look to get it downfield. Unfortunately, just eyes up on that defensive line. So credit to the Nui defence. Uh, getting up off their line, making the attacker just look up and uh, take his eyes off the ball. A great opportunity for Nui here. Yeah, again, big set defensively for Fiji. The game's on the line here. Uh, let's see if they can show some energy defensively, get off, force an error, and go the length of the field. But uh, look for, you can see there, Noah Hitutu Davis at the back of the scrum there for Nui. Just telling him to settle it down. We don't need anything silly here, boys. So look for him to take a carry maybe or a tight pass. That's the play that they need. Just look for them to run the clock down if they can. Upoko in for another tough carry. That's a brave line. No, knock on. Oh, and he's lost it right on the line. I was going to say he possibly held up, but Fiji even great defence, forcing the error. It's only two points in it. I'll tell you what, if anyone can do it, go the length of the field under these conditions, it is Fiji. Only two points down on the scoreboard and they won their first match yesterday. Nui, if they can hold on to this one with just over a minute to play, will win their first match. Oh, and it looks like it's time there, Fano. Nui, they celebrate. It's their first win of the tournament so far, beating Fiji 16-14. to 14. Full time here in the championship pool of the Pacifica Youth Cup.